So in the course, you, you will see in a number of the previous chapters parallel and series springs. We don't really talk about it very much, and it's not really important until this chapter because in vibrations, there's often problems that you face where you have either springs attached in series or parallel. And if you look at those problems, um, it's kind of important to know how to deal with them, and that's why we're making this small video in this particular case. So here I have a spring in series. So I have spring one, which is over here. I have spring two, which is over here. And that spring is now being stretched uh, by an equivalent spring, K equivalent, and X equivalent. And so if I look at that, in order for that spring to remain in equilibrium, I need to be able to have the same force attached at the other end, which kind of means that if I cut it anywhere, that that force of the spring is going to be the same. So what that tells me is the force of spring equals force of spring one, which is equal to force of spring two, which is uh, K equivalent, X equivalent, or here KS, XS, equals K1, X1, or equals K2, X2. So just tying each of these together. And what that also says is that the spring displacement, XS, X equivalent, is going to equal X1 plus X2. So if that's the case, I can substitute in these expressions. I know that XS is equal to FS over XS, X1 is equal to F spring 1 over K1, and F spring 2 over K2 equals X2. And since all of the forces remain constant, these forces are all equal, which tells me that the equivalent spring is really the inverse 1 over KS is equal to 1 over K1 plus 1 over K2. So this is kind of a useful relationship for series springs. If, on the other hand, I have two springs in parallel, their displacement is going to be constant. That is, I'm going to pull slightly on this. That total spring force is still the same. But each of the springs are going to contribute differently. So if K1 doesn't equal K2, then the force of the spring is equal to force of spring 1 plus force of spring 2. Ks xs equals K1x1 plus K2x2. And that's K equivalent or X equivalent is instead of xs. If the springs are displaced by the same distance, then I know that XS equals X1 equals X2. So my relationship is just going to be K1 plus K2 equals K equivalent. I want to rewrite that there. Or KS. So the relationship between parallel springs is constant displacement or uh, same displacement and for series springs, constant force. Spring combinations are common. They're particularly important with vibrations. We do a lot of problems in this, and that's why you're getting this video here. And it's important to be able to discern between the two cases. Parallel is associated with uh, constant displacement or equivalent displacement. And series springs are associated with constant force. You'll see a lot of these cases. you got to deal with them. Just be able to recognize them, uh, particularly because this is the end of the course. And at this point, it's something that kind of gets lost in, in kind of the dust of trying to complete everything. Thank you, and we'll talk again next time.